Hey best friends, welcome back to my channel and today's video is brought to you by You Pretty. They did send me four bundles of their Indian Water Wave and a frontal. Um, I am going to show you guys how I deep condition my wigs. And so I'm going to show you how I do it on the You Pretty and this is just basically just going to be a chill video. We're going to do a, a little get ready and I'm going to show you this makeup look because it was highly requested and everybody was asking me about you know the products that I use so if you want to see how I deep condition my wigs and uh, get ready with me then you know stay tuned so I did wear this wig in two different ways I wore it in this natural water wave state and I also wanted it and I showed you guys how it, bo it looked both ways in the beginning of this video um, the lace front the frontal of this wig did come pre-plugged I did bleach it so it did not come bleach um, the bundles are really, really full. I did notice after I wanted it, it did get a bit dry. So this is the reason why I chose to deep condition it after wearing it wanted. So we're going to start from that point. And I did make this with my sewing machine and I used all four bundles. Um, I did use two 28, a 26, a 24, and a 20 inch frontal. So let's get right into the video. This is what my wig looked like after me wearing it a couple of days wanted. So as you can see, um, it's very frizzy. Uh, it, it, it needs some love and some moisture. So that's what we're going to do. So the first step is to comb your wig out and let's go wash it. So this is what my wig is looking like after I removed it. As you can see, there's residue on the lace. That is my got to be free spray. Um, how you remove it is just run hot water on it. It is water based. So if you run hot water on it, it will melt off. You do not need to scrub it. Just let it sit in hot water or let the hot water run on it. And that's that simple, okay? So the wig is fully saturated at this point and I'm just gonna comb through it to make sure I have no tangles in it. The shampoo I used was Garnier Brutis in a green bottle. I will link a picture of it right here on the screen. I typically only shampoo once. I don't want to dry out the hair. I just want to remove the buildup that's on the hair. Okay, so I usually shampoo it once, mas just massage the shampoo into the strands, and then I rinse it out, and then I go in with the deep conditioning treatment. So if you follow my social media, you already know how I feel about silicone mix. I feel like it's a holy grail. So. The first thing that you want to do is wring out your hair. You want it to be like towel dried basically. You don't want it to be drippy drippy wet because silicone makes has a lot of slips. So if you put it on a runny wetty wig it'll just fall right off the strands. So um, it's best to do this on like you know towel dry or blotted hair. So all, I'm, all you do is just add the silicone mix. Make sure you get your nape because I don't care what you say you want your, to make sure your nape and everything is detangled and conditioned and all of that stuff so just apply the silicone mix massage it into every single strand and comb it out to make sure all the tangles and everything is combed out and one thing that a lot of people forget to condition is your lace your lace has knots on it as well that's hair your hair is on a, a piece of lace and you know you want to make sure it's conditioned and hydrated too because you don't want your closure or your frontal to bald so make sure that your lace is very hydrated and conditioned as well now leave the silicone mix on your wig for 30 minutes that's the the shortest amount of time i would recommend but if you could leave it on for longer then leave it on for longer it doesn't matter i left silicone mix on my wigs overnight before and it just came out even softer okay now um after that you rinse out the silicone mix and you could go on about styling your hair now what i do now is i mold my wig on my block my wig stand on my block head okay and i like to do it because it's easier for me especially when it comes to baby hair and stuff like that so if i want baby hair i like to mold it off of my head and on my wig stand and then i'll go in and apply the wig while i already have molded baby hairs because it's just bomber that way So all I'm going to do is just apply the product and comb the product through and let it air dry. And once it's air dry, I'm going to just apply it to my head. So the only thing that I used to um, adhere my wig to my head this time was lace tape. And I only put it by my ear tabs. And that was the only thing that kept my wig down for me. Because I've just been loving the not having my wig glued down on my head 
situation because the cleanup can be a lot and I just don't I just haven't felt been feeling the glue so let's go in right into makeup so I like to prime my eyebrows I am a very oily person so my eyebrows get oily because it's on my face so I like to use this LA girls pro prep primer and I like to put it on my eyebrows then I like to go into my Laura Mercier powder and I like to set it um, I don't go too heavy with the powder on my eyebrows but I like to set it and I dust away the powder and then I'll go in with my MAC eyebrow pencil and stud and then I'll carve out my eyebrows like I'm the type of person I have to do my eyebrows like a, a, a outline trace of my eyebrows and then at the end of my makeup go back and fill in my eyebrows and make them darker because I feel like my eyebrows disappear when I when I add uh, on my foundation and different powders and stuff like that so yeah okay you guys see me talking but I, I was also on live while I was finished filming this okay so I am going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in deep and I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows. I only like to carve underneath my eyebrows. I'm not the type to carve on top of my eyebrows. I just like the more kind of natural look, I guess you could say that. So I like to take it and then I like to just shape my eyebrows accordingly to my liking. After I carve out my eyebrows, I do like to go back into my Pro Prep and I like to prime my face. And after I prime it, I do set it with my Laura Mercier powder. Before we continue, I am a crayon cutie. If you guys did not know or follow me on social media, um, um, people on Facebook actually knew that I was a crayon cutie. But um, I want to say a big congratulations to Supa um, for hitting one million dollars in 30 minutes like girl you are goals you are an inspiration especially to small businesses like myself um i am predominantly in the hair portion of youtube but i do dabble in the makeup business makeup business but the makeup and i just want to say girl you are bomb and you are an inspiration and you are literally goals all right so yes if you guys want to see an actual video of everything that came into this little backpack that i got and swatches of stuff let me know i know i've had this bag for about a month and a half or so i'm late i've just been busy with grinding with my orders but yeah it's better late than never i would say but yes thank you super for you know letting me be a part of your pr team and congratulations on a banking ass brand so I'm going to use my LA Girls Pro Coverage Foundation. I'm in the color coffee and I am going to take my sponge from the crayon case. I love the sponge. It's so soft and it's huge. But I'm going to take this and I am apply it. I have my main problem area is around my jaw. So I put most of my product down by my jaw and then fade it up. I love the color match of this foundation. I typically only use three different foundations. I have a light coverage, a medium coverage, and a full coverage. This is my medium coverage foundation and it just leaves a velvety matte finish and I just love it, okay? So I like to go in with my Bobbi Brown foundation stick and espresso and I like to contour, well cream contour. So I do my forehead, my cheekbones, my nose, and my jawline and around my chin just to give me some structure and I like to take this elf brush I love these elf brushes and I like to buff it out alright you guys so if you're um, beauty influencers and you're looking for music for your channel my boyfriend does have a music channel here on YouTube It's called CMXV he does produce beats that he is allowing us beauty influencers or just influencers in general to use so I will link that down below if you're interested as well all right, so I did use my Tarte Shape Tape and Deep to highlight, and I just blend it all in with the sponge to make sure everything is just blended and seamlessly. And then I like to go in with my Laura Mercier powder to set everywhere I highlight it. All right, so I'm gonna take the box of crayon palette and I'm gonna take purple and I'm gonna just buff that in my crease and a little bit above my crease and this is going to be my transition and my crease color all 
I'm also going to go into the Morphe 35B palette. I love this palette and I'm going to take this bluish purple and I am going to center it in my crease to give it a little depth and I'm going to just build the color up. And from that point, I am going to cut my crease. I am not good at cutting my crease. Typically, I don't like cut creases. Um, I and more of a blown out type of girl like I like blown out messy eye looks but like I wanted to do something a little more you know clean so I took the uh, I think it's the number three concealer palette from crayon case and I am using one of the shades in there to cut the crease it was creamy and it was um I could really do it better than a more liquidy I could cut my crease a little bit better than more uh, more liquidy concealer. So, yeah. So, I'm going to take this navy blue and I'm going to put it in the inner and outer corners of my eyes while using a crayon case brush. So I'm going to take light blue from the box of crayon and I'm, that is going to be my center of my halo color. And it's this pretty like metallic shimmer. It's so bomb. Like I love the color. That was the main focus of me doing this uh, like makeup tutorial because I want to use that color. So from that point, I'm going to also take purple shimmer. I, don't, I think it's called purple. Y'all, I'm going to leave all the color information down below. But I'm going to take that and sandwich the navy blue and the shimmer together. And after that's done, you want to go back in with the brush that you had the light blue on. And you want to just, you know, blend everything together. And there's a white shimmer in there. And I put it directly in the center of my eye just to make it pop a little more like pop. Like, you know, like I just wanted to be like boom. Like it was real booming, okay? And after that, I just popped on some lashes. These lashes are sold on my website. I am wearing two pairs. This is my fluffy and my wispy lashes. These are 25 millimeter lashes, so they're super, super long and I make them fluffy. So I am gonna go into the contour book from the crayon case and I am going to do my transitional contour colors just like I normally do. So I took the two middle colors and I blended them together and I contoured my face. And then I go into my LA Girls um, Pro Coverage Powder in the color Chestnut and I just put the color back into my face because after setting my face with Laura Mercier, I could get a little, you know, ashy looking and we don't want that. I want my color all the way back. So I am going to line my lips with Bare. This is also a crayon case lip liner. Um, this is my second favorite next to Chestnut from MAC. MAC is more of a, like a brownie color. Bare is more like a deep brown and I love it. So now this is where my eyebrows come into play. Like I like to fill my eyebrows in. I like them dark. I love dark eyebrows. Make my little wispy hair looking things in the front and fill them all in. And then usually I go in with some mascara and I'll coat my eyebrow hairs with some mascara to make it look like I got some eyebrow hairs because uh, your girl is bald by the eyebrow. I'm just letting you know. And for highlighter, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Peach Nectar. I love Peach Nectar. And we're going to take this hair down and zhuzh it up and put on some clear lip gloss. And girl, we in the money. <laughs> <laughs> 